it's now 12 weeks since jaw surgery and that means I've only got four more weeks of soft food um, and the reason why uh, I've been on the soft food diet for so long um, is because they made my top jaw half an inch wider and uh, apparently um, the more they move the top jaw uh, in this direction uh, the longer it takes to heal um, I'm seeing the surgeon next weekend because uh, he's in Dallas and, and St. Louis so I've actually not seen him since um, about two weeks after the surgery uh, I think it's going to be a fairly routine appointment uh, one thing he might do though is uh, remove the splint so I have a plastic splint which is completely covering the roof of my mouth it's basically holding my hole up you know, three segments of my jaw to that um, so but before and after the surgery, um, the surgeon did some CT scans and I asked him for a copy of the, uh, the disk that contains the CT data. Now he has some software that he uses to um, make images from the CT data, but um, I've got some slightly different software, so I thought it would be fun to um, make some slightly different images uh, from the same data, so this is what I made. So yeah, so this is before, this is after. Um, yeah, and uh, let's just uh, zoom in on the uh, the after. So you can see uh, here that's um, one of the titanium plates, and then that's the other titanium plate, and then they've got two plates down here. This is a tooth that they rotated surgically. Um, so this is. Uh, where they, they it's called a, where they really uh, cut uh, the ramus osteotomy, which means they kind of slice this whole thing here, <laughs> kind of lengthways, and then kind of uh, move this kind of like that, and then use these plates to hold it all back together. And uh, these things here, these are the uh, hydroxyapatite blocks. So. Um, the bone will be hopefully growing through those. Um, yeah. So I'll just end with the uh, way like. So this is front. And this is front. And this is this. Okay, speak to you next time.